Our psalm for this week comes from Psalm 22. This is the psalm we all know. It comes from Good Friday. It describes the death of Jesus, the words uh, that he spoke on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? From this psalm, also about um, his body shriveling up and dying on the cross from this psalm. Uh, but here we're reading verses 25 through 31. Notice the tone and direction of, of the psalm. Read along and pray with me. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nation shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. Uh, this is a powerful um psalm to read and to pray, especially as we see the events around the world, and sometimes we can get the impression <clears throat> it's all chaos. Um, who's in charge? And here the psalmist says quite clearly, for dominion belongs to the Lord. He rules over all the nations. Uh, as you watch the news, as you read uh, the papers this week, uh, remember this verse 28, for dominion belongs to the Lord and he rules over the nations. May that give us all some comfort this week. Bye-bye now.